How you doing guys? Uh, it's Owen and Laura here, back again with some of your CEO questions. Uh, this time we're looking at course requirements, okay? So we get loads of questions in regarding specific requirements for courses uh, through all our social media. So Laura's <coughs> gonna kick us off there with our first question. Yeah, okay, uh, so what's the difference between a level six and a level eight program? Okay, so on, success, on successful completion of a level six program, you have obtained a higher certificate. Uh, on, on successful completion of a level eight program, you have obtained an honors degree. Uh, it's important to remember that if you, you can use your level six um, as a pathway to reach your level eight honors degree too. Yeah, and actually that brings me on to the next question then, um, which somebody asked um, if they apply for a level seven course, uh, is there an add-on year, still on, is the add-on year still an option further down the line, okay? So as Laura says, we have this pathway here in LIT, okay? So it makes um, progression here in LIT really, really flexible, okay? So for example, if you start at level six, there will be an option for you to move on after you finish your level six onto a level seven, and then move on to a level eight from there. You can go in and out once you finish your level six, you can come back, do your level seven, come back again and do your level eight. And you can do that in the four years as well if you want. Um, so it's a really, really flexible system that kind of helps you to get through your degree in your own time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, and what kind of supports are available in LIT? Uh, in LIT, we recognised uh, that student life can be challenging and there are a number of supports available. So we have um, our student health unit, we have our counselling service, our career service and our access service. Through the access service, um, there's student assistance funding available, and there is also learning support too. So if you're struggling with a particular area of your course, you can apply for uh, learning support, and it's free, so that always helps as well. Yeah, absolutely, and one of the most important services that we have, and it's included in our next question, um, is our disability services, okay? So we have somebody who asked, who said that they have a learning disability, will their needs be catered for? 100% your needs will be catered for. Um, we firmly believe in equality of opportunity in LIT for every single student. So every student has the same right um, to a third level education as, as anybody else. Um, so we have a disability um, office here in LIT which will service your requirements. So we will just make sure that before you come to LIT, make contact with that office and let your, your, your what services you may require be known to that office. Um, so the person in charge there is called Rose O'Donovan. Um, you can email bros at bros.odonovan at lit.ie um, and her mobile, or her, sorry, her office line also is 061 293 112. Cool, okay. Uh, do all courses on the LIT programme accept QQI or FETAC applicants uh, or am I restricted to certain courses? That's a good question. Uh, LIT accepts uh, QQI or FETAC applicants um, for entry on all our programmes of study. Um, Special requirements um, may exist for particular programs, but just um, check with that course in question. Um, yeah, just check with the course in question. Okay, um, so this next question then is, is a European language required uh, to apply for courses at LIT? Uh, simply, no, there's no European language required for any of our courses. However, uh, there is a minimum requirement of at least an O6 or a H7 in the Leaving Cert in either English or Irish. So they're the only language requirements that, that are required for any course here in, in LIT. Yeah, uh, and is maths a requirement for all courses at LIT? Uh, so most, most courses at LIT require a minimum leaving cert um, ordinary level grade of uh, 06 or H7. Um, and there's also um, a minimum grade required for our engineering programs too. So depending on the engineering program that you may want to study, um, a, a, a grade, a, a different grade may be needed for that, but it's all at ordinary level. So it's just very, very important to double check um, on the course that you wish to study what ordinary level maths grade is required. Um, yeah, and that's it. There are a small number of courses as well that accept foundation level maths. Um, so just check with admissions um, if that may be a course that you're interested in studying, but a small number of courses do accept foundation level. Yeah, um, so another question regarding fees then. So when you're uh, when you've applied for your course, when you've ta when you've um, accepted your offer, what is the story with fees? Okay, so um, basically the situation with fees at the moment and um, tuition fees are paid by the government, um, but in LIT there are what we call student contribu contribution fees. Okay, so for those who don't uh, who haven't applied for a student grant or, or don't get a student grant, uh, the tuition fees yearly in LIT 
are 3,000 euro, okay? So they can be paid um, in two halves, um, for, so 1,500 for the first year, and then 1,500 for, sorry, for the first semester, uh, <laughs> and then 1,500 for the second semester. It'd be great if it was 1,500 yeah, for the second semester. Yeah, we wish. <laughs> but, so yeah, so 1,500 per semester. Um, for de more details on student, uh, student fees, you can contact our Grants and Fees Office. Um, so their contact details are uh, studentfees at lit.ie. You can also ring them on 061 293 366. Okay, and that I suppose brings us on to the next question. So how do I apply for the student grant? Uh, so, very, very easily, just visit www.suzy.ie and what you have to do there is see if you're eligible and then you can apply there too. So we would advise you apply now or as soon as possible. Um, the application system opened on April 5th um, and it remains open. So um, the sooner the better, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Um, so that's all for our course requirement questions for now. Um, make sure that if you have any other questions that we haven't answered here today, just uh, either send us a Snapchat, Facebook us, uh, send us a message on Instagram, Twitter, whatever is best for you, um, and we'll always be there to, to answer your questions. So thanks very much for listening, and we'll see you again sh shortly. Thank you.